Hi guys, this is a video explaining how to complete the homework on human birth weight and stabilizing selection. So make sure you've got your homework sheet. It should look something like this. Look for this part of it. Um, we can see we've got um, sample data for babies based at ba baby's weight at birth and there are 100 data points. Um, this, these uh, weights of different babies um, are in kilograms. What you need to do first for this homework is record the number of individuals in each size group and record the number, um, count the number of individuals in each size group and record the number in this table here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this um, data set, crossing off any that I count as I go through, and uh, I can see that, um, first of all, as I go through the first category, 0 to 0 0.49 kilograms, I look through all the data here and I see that there's actually none in that category. There are no babies um, that were born in that weight category. There's also no babies that are born from 0 0.5 to 0 0.99 kilograms. Now, from 1 to 1.49 kilograms, if I go all the way through here, I see that there is one baby right here that was born at that weight. So I'm going to cross off that individual and count them as one. For the next one, 1 1.5 to 1.99 kilograms, when I look through, see I've got one here, one. There's a second one here, two. And a third one here, three. So there are three individuals of that weight. What you need to do for your homework, I've already given you the first four boxes here, is to count the number of individuals that belong in each of those weight categories. Your total should e equal 100. If you get 100, that means that you've counted all of them. So that's just the first part of your homework. You're working out how many different babies belong to each of these weight categories. The next thing that you're going to be doing as part of your homework is plotting this data in a frequency histogram, which is over on the next page. So my first four values were 0, 0, 1, and 3. You're going to be plot plotting the whole lot, but I'm just going to show you how to do the first few. So turn over to this part of the class packet here. Let me just zoom out so you can see the whole thing. There we go. Um, and we've got space for plotting this data. So at the bottom, we've got the baby's birth weight. And for the first two weight categories, 0 to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 to 1, there were no babies born at that mass. So we can just leave it at 0 along the base here. However, from 1 to 1 1.5, there was one baby born. So we're using the left-hand side y-axis here to show that one baby was born at that mass. From 1.5 to 2, three babies were born. Oops. You should do this with a ruler. I don't have mine to hand right now. Okay, like so. So you're going to keep doing that for every weight category, and maybe I'll put in some light shading here to show where these bar charts are. Once you've finished this, you're going to get a whole set of bar charts, um, sorry, a whole set of data um, where you'll see some kind of shape that looks a little like this. Next, and this is the part that a, students, a lot of students get wrong, you're going to plot the percentage mortality. So, as I said, first thing was to count the number of babies in each category, then plot the data as a bar chart on here, or frequency histogram. Then finally, you need to plot the percentage mortality. Now that data is available in this table here. When I look in this table, I see that babies of one kilogram have a mortality rate of 80%. That means that 80% of babies that are that light um, die. Therefore, what you need to do is to put a single check mark right here, because we're working off this y, x, uh, sorry, this y axis on this side now. Remember, for the other data set, for the bar chart, we're working off this side. For this new line graph that we're going to do, we work off this side. So 80% mortality at one kilogram. 
Amazingly, this drops to 30% mortality. So many, many more of the babies live if the baby's weight is 1.5 kilograms. So again, 1.5 kilograms, 30. I mark that point off using the x-axis here. And so what you'll be doing, and the next one would be 12. So let's pull that down to, that would be around here. And so on. Once you're done with this, you're going to have a bar chart from your first set of data and a line graph joining together a set of points for this second set of data. And there'll be some more points along here for you to plot from this um, table. Once you're done with that, describe the shape of the hi histogram for birth weights. That's the bar chart. State the optimum birth weight in terms of new, new, lowest newborn mortality. So in other words, um, what's the best chance of survival? What birth weight is the best chance of survival? Describe the relationship, the selection pressures. This question, question four is really asking you, why is it that it is better for babies to be born of intermediate weight and not really light or really heavy? That might be something you need to look up. Finally, describe how medical intervention methods during president pregnancy and childbirth may have altered these selection pressures. Why is it that now fewer of the light and very heavy babies um, tend to die and more and more of them are able to live? So that's the homework. Um, come and check in with me if you uh, have any questions about it.